Hello fragrance specialists, my name is Chance, welcome to my guide, and thank you so much for taking a look at another one of our essential oil breakdowns. Today we're going to be going over grapefruit, and this is a very popular essential oil, usually, I don't know, I want to say any citrus fruit is super popular as an essential oil, at least that's true in the west for sure. I'm not too sure how it carries over to Europe and Asia, but I know in western society in the Americas, citrus essential oils are literally in everyone's library. At least everyone I've met, most people I talk to have them, so it's a pretty safe bet. In any case, always consult your doctor before use as always. Now let's dive into its profile. Its scent is described as having a citrusy, fresh, and slightly bitter aroma. Its most common uses are acne, oily skin, celitis, dull skin, toxin buildup, water retention, and nervous exhaustion. Which is really interesting stuff. I don't know if there's any particular um, illness that would really work well with this, but I mean, maybe uh, young teenagers around puberty might really benefit from this stuff. A lot of hormonal changes will lead to a lot of these um, symptoms, so it would make sense. In any case, the method of extraction, as with most citrus oils, is the cold press, which is really nice. And it blends with bergamot, jasmine, lemon, lime, orange, rose, and sandalwood. Under notes, it is phototoxic. That means it can react violently with sunlight and potentially lead to uh, blistering or burning or irritation. So do a quick test patch on you, expose it to sunlight, make sure that the concentration isn't too high. Usually with proper dilution, it isn't too, too much of an issue, but just always err on the side of caution, right? Now let's dive into its history. One ancestor of the grapefruit was the Jamaican sweet orange, itself an ancient hybrid of Asian origin, and the other was the Indonesian pomelo. One story of the fruit's origin is that a certain Captain Shadok brought the pomelo seed to Jamaica and bred the first fruit. Although it probably originated as a naturally occurring hybrid between the two plants sometime after they had already been introduced there. The hybrid fruit, then called the Forbidden Fruit, was first documented in 1750 by a Welshman, Reverend Griffith Hughes, who described the specimens from Barbados in The Natural History of Barbados. Currently, the grapefruit is said to be one of the seven wonders of Barbados, which is really cool stuff, really cool history behind it. Uh, I do like it when there's a little bit of controversy, just kind of drums up the imagination, but it's very cool regardless of which event actually occurred. In any case, now let's dive into a quick DIY recipe. This one is the Soothing Leg Massage Oil. Its recipe is as followed. 5 drops grapefruit essential oil, 5 drops pine essential oil, 5 drops cinnamon bark, 3 drops fennel seed, 1 drop cypress, and 1 tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. Mix it all together, store it in a dark glass container, and apply where it's needed as needed. Very cool stuff. I really do like it. I think it's a great smell. It's far more bitter than a lot of the oranges, which actually really helps. I find a lot of the oranges are actually overpowering in terms of their scent. The grapefruit, slightly less so, at least in my experience. That being said, if you like grapefruit and if you want to test out the essential oil or if you're running low, please do consider ordering from Rocky Mountain Essential Oils. They've been a great help with the channel and they provide great customer support as well. That being said, if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns, please put them down beneath in the comment section and feel free to drop any recipes you may have as well. That being said, I hope you have a great day and as always, may all of your future endeavors smell divine.